Hey guys, it is Sunny B. I am co-owner of Soulful Vibes Co. Healer and teacher of all things metaphysical and holistic along with the life coach. Today I come to you with how to cut cords. What cords are you talking about, Sunny? How to cut energetic cords and how to get rid of people that are continuing to drain and tap into your energetic field and getting rid of those vampire those energy vampires, how to get rid of these cords that you have connected, right? And when it comes to cords, sometimes we connect with people through friendships, family ships, or even relationships. When we have sex with people, when we are loving and giving to people, people tap into us. So these cords, our energy and our spirit are like the sockets in a wall and people have cords, and they plug into us. And it is our job and our duty to sever these cords, pull these cords out or get rid of these cords so that they are no longer connected to us, so that we are no longer like them. And when people cords are connected to us, we tend to sometimes act like them, take on problems that are not ours, feel some ways and we're like, why do I even feel like that? This is not my emotions. These are these people emotions or we are drained because so many cords are connected to us that we are giving so much energy out to other cords that we're drained. So why should you cut cords? I kind of just told you. But how should I cut cords? One great way you can use to cut cords is meditation. I love to use meditation to cut cords. You kind of just focus on these cords. You see these cords plugged into you and you are either taking the scissors and cutting these cords or you're going to the source if it's plugged in and you're like snatching it out and you're imagining this of course and you can do the actions behind it while you're meditating. And while you're doing this, I love to light a white candle because the candles, I always like to think when you light the flame, the flame to the candle is the doorbell to the spirit world. And it's spiritual, right? This is spiritual. So this candle helps light this doorbell and it helps snatch out. I love to do that. I love to meditate and focus on removing these cords myself. Um, also, you can take a bath. I like taking a bath. So I do a couple things. I do that and then I take a bath, right? This is a releasing bath that I made that has different releasing herbs like peppermint and um, different herbs in here with some dead sea salt. That is good for releasing and removing along with Epsom salt and stuff. But this is a bath that I use. I take a handful, put it in my bath. And a lot of times I put some essential oil drops in my bath, peppermint or anything that you feel led to. And while I'm doing my bath, I, I start envisioning a light around me. And when I envision this light, I start envisioning that light cutting the cords as it's coming down. Remember I did my meditation. I'm doing this cut cording bath releasing bath and then after my bath I use my sage and palo santo I use my sage and palo santo before I start the process and then even after the process um, because sage removes any negative energies anything that's tied to you that no longer serves you and palo santo does the same but it also welcomes good high vibrations high frequency so I like to Surround myself in the smoke before I get started to reset my mind, to refocus. I focus on my meditation. I focus on my bath. I do this again to kind of get any residue that may be left. And then throughout those days, for seven days or sometimes three, depending on how I feel, I carry four cutting stones. You can figure out what works for you, but black stones for me, I love black stones. So like black onyx, hematite. Smoky quartz, because smoky quartz is really good at removing any negative energy and removing things that no longer serve us. But these black crystals are good for protection and removing negativity. And I carry these with me the day that I start my process and a few days after just to get rid of anything that I may have forgotten about or that I left behind. And then blue kyanite. I use blue kyanite too because blue kyanite is known as Archangel Michael's sword. If you look at this, it's kind of like a blade, and we like to think that it's Archangel Michael's sword. And if you know anything about Archangel Michael, you know he's the remover of all obstacles. So 
why not carry this if he can remove all the obstacles with his blade, right? And you could take the blade of the, if you feel like it's core is connected to your heart, you could take the blade and just like do this. There are so many different ways, but I love the meditation. I love the bath and I love my crystals and my sage and Palo Santo to get rid of cores. This is something so short. It is not something that's long. You can make this however short, however long you want to. I like to do all three processes. I like to do all of them just in case I forgot some cores or left some residue behind during my meditation. But these are some ideas. And always remember to trust your intuition when it comes to these things. But make sure that um, you do what feels right to you. That's all. Make sure you do what feels right to you. All of these items, the Release and Bath, Sage, Palo Santo, Crystals, and the Candle is available on our website at soulfulvibesco.com so you can purchase them there. Also, if you have not already, book a service with me. I can um, We could talk about whatever you want or you could do a full reading and I'm able to give you confirmation direction and instructions into the next direction in your journey but if you are not already make sure you follow us on instagram at soulful vibes co but remember until we meet again make sure you stay lit with peace and positivity